Hello everybody. My friend has this very elaborate air conditioning set up and we've had nothing but trouble with the unit in the background on the left. The company that originally installed all the equipment has been out a couple of times to troubleshoot it and recommendations have ranged from replace the outdoor condensing unit to replace the indoor evap and the outdoor condensing unit all for a price that was in the five to ten grand range. But we finally changed service companies and this is what the technician observed. The outdoor condensing unit was short cycling. The compressor would turn on for a few seconds, turn off for a few seconds, and then start all over again as long as the thermostat was calling for cooling. This is not the typical short cycling you hear about where the compressor runs for a few minutes and then shuts off. The indoor unit runs for a while, shut off, and then two or three minutes later they come on. This literally was seconds on, seconds off. The technician attached his refrigeration gauges and noted the needles were jumping around. Those were his words. He immediately suspected contaminated refrigerant or a partially blocked or fully clogged filter dryer. Here's the liquid lined filter dryer that's built into the outdoor condensing unit by the manufacturer. The technician simply cut out the old filter dryer and replaced it with some copper tubing. Here's one important tip. The tech placed his hand on one side of the copper dryer line and he noticed that one side was hotter or warmer than the other side and that was a clue to him that the filter dryer might in fact be clogged. Here's the new filter dryer installed. It is mounted external to the condensing unit and it's a pretty conventional installation. Here's a comparison of the old dryer at the top and the new filter dryer at the bottom. The repair was still pretty expensive because we had to remove all the old refrigerant and then replace all of it. It was about 14 pounds of R410A. But in the end, the bill was under $1,000 and a lot cheaper than the five to $10,000 plus estimates we had been receiving from others. So if the compressor in your outdoor condensing unit is short cycling a couple seconds on, a couple seconds off, and continuing to repeat itself, you might have a clogged filter dryer. They're pretty inexpensive to replace. And make sure you replace the contactor while you're at it because if you've been going through the cycling problem, your contactor is probably shot as well. So thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful or informative, how about a like? Thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.